be a different video, man. We here with more to subscribe. Josh Ran, subscribe. Give me your Instagram again, champ. Hey, Red at six four. Check me out. That's his charger right there, man. The first one I seen, I like with the split and the carbon fiber strips down the middle. It's just nice as fuck. But um, I told more to. I would try the GT five hundred. So I'm gonna drive it. I'm gonna get that motor. Have you driven it yet? No. No. You know, I don't got to drive it. Nah. I... If you want to give me a ride, I can go for a ride. Oh yeah, you want the motherfuckers that you don't want to drive people car because you think if it breaks some shit. Man, breaks some I, I don't want to worry, but I, I do not how I do not know how to drive over the dips, so only crime scraping is mine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got dips everywhere here, even at an intersection. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck? Just dips everywhere. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta go sideways. Everywhere you go, just gotta go sideways, yeah. man. Well, Buggy, you ready? Let's get it. So, right, let's go. A lot of people, they'll try to trap you. It won't even be you tra trapping you. It'll be them trapping you. you yeah. know, a lot of people don't want to see you do nothing. And you, I feel like you feed into it. Once they trap you, it's like, if you don't get the views yeah. for you trying to do something different, you go back and to that what works. pays the bills, it's yeah. like you got to just, you know, suck it up and yeah. do what and they you want you to do. go right back to works. You know? And that, and that does suck. But it is, it's part of the game, man. Sport, track. When we change the mode, it's gonna change. Watch what happens. So when we put it in sport mode, watch the cluster is gonna change. Uh, and then when we put it in track, watch what happens to the cluster. So you feel how it doesn't go unless you push it to go. Yeah, it's like a manual. Yeah, it, it kind of it, feels it like, a like that, but it, you know. It felt like it was going backwards unless it was on a little steep hill, a little thing over right there, a little bit. No, no, we weren't on a hill. It was just that's just how the car is. Let me see. I'm gonna try it right here. What do you want? Oh, I do. Um, yeah, I do. I, yeah, I'd be right. It feels like it's manual. They it's do, weird. though. That's kind of dope, though, because they know like the people that yeah. want these. Oh, yeah. Sway didn't just... Sway trying to ah, get in my car. Sway! Damn. Sway, what the fuck, got bro? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't type in your paint and scratch it up. Where'd it go, bro? It's right here. Enterprises. That's crazy. Oh, my God. The damn, GoPro that fell off the mook. Look, it's still dirty from the off-roading. Sway is embarrassing. Damn, That's why he ain't stickling all the dirt in this joint. Oh my god. I don't even know if this is safe on the outside now. Let's start right here. What if it falls? No, it might fall again. No, I think Sway just didn't clamp it right, see? Right. Sway, Sway is nuts. Let's see. I don't even know how they try to even look right here, champ. Fuck it, though. Alright, let's get it. Is Sway uh, covered under your shirt? Sway is not covering under my shirts, brother, so you got to send him an invoice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's thing. Ain't got nothing to do with me, brother. Hey, I cut him a check every month, brother. So, you know, he get good money. He be just fine. You got to go holler at him individually, brother. He cover it. He got it. Trust me. Oh, he got it for sure. Is this thing lower, kind of? Nah, the wheel's probably lower. Okay. I thought it was going, I thought it was going to lose grip. That's the track, it's tracks control off? Yeah. Ooh, the more beams clear too. Let me relax though, I don't miss where I can mind. See how it can take turns really well? I do though, I ain't gonna lie, champ. And I like, I like how hugged up you is in this joint too. Right, don't you feel like the car is hugging the road? I do though. It's just, any little move with the hand too is so yeah. sturdy. Well, because you're in track mode, so in normal mode it's a little different. like a GT350 or GT350R, mm -hmm. it's like, what's it? like I feel like, I, I like this one better. It's not those. as rough. Yeah, yeah, and those are manuals too, granted, mm -hmm. but like, I like how this one like, feels like you can smash it to the floor and you feel safe. And you could, you feel like you could you know drive the it a little better. better. I got yeah, to yeah. you a little bit because you true Hellcat. No, I know. You, got, you know the Mustang with the reputation. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you be seeing them crowd busters, you know, no, I so know. I like how this, you can smash it to the floor and you don't feel like you're gonna be a crowd buster. Yeah. You know, and you we just did and it just kept going straight. On a U-turn too, I wasn't straight. And by the I way, traction is off. By the way, guys, see, traction is off. Is that the whole traction off? Like the whole 10 no, second just off? Once. Yeah. 
But still, do that in a Hellcat, you know. Yeah, that is. Go, you know, go somewhere else. I'm not trying to. No, 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 no. Hey, look, it's coming off like I'm biased now. I don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he no. didn't switch sides, so y'all heard of it. No, no, no. I'm not trying to make it seem like right. it's Hellcat versus. Yeah, but I'm just saying, if you turn off, you know, a Hellcat traction, you know. Right. You know that is true, though. You're 100% yeah, you know. valid, brother. It's, it's not a. <laughs> it's coming it's out that sounds, way. It, it, it sounds like I'm hating right now. People know you for a Hellcat, so it's yeah. like, you know. It, it could come off a little bit like yeah, that, but I know bad. it's not that way. But if you've driven both, then you know it's not true, like if you're perceiving it to be that way. Oh, I just went and shifted up by itself on that one. Yeah, because it's an auto, I think. Uh, I think when you come to a stop, does it automatically go to automatic? Snap crackle in this joint. Mm, I, I don't care for exhaust because I want to hear the wine. Ah, yeah, you know? that's, true. that's like what I want to hear. And it's it not as loud as like a Hellcat. Right. So, like, I don't want to even make it worse. Right. That heat is going crazy in there. It is popping, though. It is. You see how smooth that is? good. That was just automatic, too. Like too. And then one thing I like too is going around the corners, these seats, 
They seats, hug you. Seats is hug you, champ. I ain't gonna lie to you. They hug you. I like the seats for sure. The seats, I like our counters. I like the way the stair will go to and the steering in itself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like it because it gives you security. Yeah. And the Alcantara is nice too. The Alcantara, you can't never go wrong with that, brother. When that's on the mittens, you know what I'm saying? The GoPro is still holding on just fine too. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's up there, brother. <laughs> hey, you was going pretty. Yeah, that's it. I wouldn't have been surprised if it did come off. But yeah, I, I like it though. I like it a lot. And I, I knew I would. But I expected it because this is supercharged, right? Yeah, 5.2 um, liters. Yeah, I expected it like, you know, when you hear supercharged, like in you, you know, Hellcat you person. Wine. Yeah, you thought it would be like a wine with a crazy torquey kick. Yeah. So it has a lot of torque, but it doesn't. It, it doesn't. If it, it makes sense, it doesn't feel like it though. It doesn't because it feels like it's did, naturally aspirated. It would spin as much as a Hellcat, and that's what the Hellcat has a problem with. Right. So the, the, the torque doesn't kick in until up top, and that's why it starts pulling up top, if you notice. Like all Mustangs, they, they get their power in them higher gears, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. And I, well, that's why when I was downshifting, I was trying to get up to the higher RPMs. I like them uh, Audi wagons, too. Yeah, the RS something. <sighs> them joints is fire, dog. I ain't going to lie to you. I thought about buying one. But yeah, that's why if you notice, like, on the RPM band, I was trying to get up as high as I possibly could to kind of build the most power. When well, you know? get that kick, it wheel hops and spins, though. That's, that's the thing. Right. Yeah, so it's pros and cons to both things, from what you're saying. Yeah, you yeah. need to either have good ass tires, or you you know you don't do it that high of a gear. Right. So do you like? So now that you have both, do you like the lower end torque or the higher end torque? Um, I'll be honest with you guys. I like the way this is set up because I don't always need to have a 17 inch weld. Right. And some 315s on to you know be Make sure able I know to. Where I'm going, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can so just, fast, I lost my damn way. Yeah, do you think we passed the exit? I don't know. Uh, we're about to find out, though. So anyways, I definitely like it the way this is set up. Just yeah. because you could be on, you know, 20-inch wheels, and you could still hook at, you know, a certain gear where the Hellcat, dude, you're going to spin, you know. And even when you're stock, imagine doing some work to it. Like, I don't want to be on 17-inch wheels at all times, like the drag setup you got. Right, like, yeah. you can't go to dinner like that. You look crazy. <laughs> With you look the like, Yeah, like, you look like... You know, I mean, it's Or cool. you got the mismatched front to the back. Yeah, you know, I don't like that look. It looks good, but like, you know, it's just not as classy. So with this, you could keep the 20s on and still hook if you put a good tire. So I like that. But yeah. I love both cars. Don't get me wrong. The Hellcats are amazing. If it wasn't for content-wise, I would still have them. So don't think I sold them because I don't want them. I sold them because I wanted something fresh, new on the channel. The Hellcat is just so legendary. The clout status for that, like... It's on another level of, you know, people making memes about it, TikToks, rappers rapping about it. So the clout of a Hellcat, hate it or love it, it's up there. You yeah. know, and no car matches it, you know, American-wise. Yeah. It's going down in history. No, like, it's sure. one of them historical uh, cars for show. Sure. Like, it put a stamp in history and on a lot of people and in a lot of people's lives. So, I it agree with you. It changed the game for yeah. you, for me, for a lot of people that... Mm -hmm used it to you know start a youtube yeah, channel before i had one like it just changed the game with me just looking at it and watching the videos it excited me and made me like want to get it i dreamed about it I obsessed over it like i needed it and i wanted it and right. i got it that you know? raw power there's nothing that, raw power. that touches it yeah 100 but i think once you start to develop a palette into this car world and then you see one thing and one thing i think you have a mutual respect for all cars and all the beastie whips that's out there and just know that all of them serve different purposes and i think what you just said about everything with the hellcat and this <laughs> is that it's more of a universal piece for you, right? You can get that, you get that torque, you can have that muscle, but at the same time you go around corners, you ain't gotta have, you ain't gotta worry about wheel spin. Yeah. You can, um, you know, take it out and not have that, not uh, have to worry about the mismatched wheels or if it's looking cool, because some people don't understand that race car shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you pull up and you got 17s like you said, but then you got the stocks in the front and people, most people pretty like, what the fuck is going on? Like I know before I got YouTube, if I seen a car like that, I'm like, what the fuck? It looked raggedy to me because yeah. it was ignorance because I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know, like, like... Oh, bicycle wheels. I'm right, like, 100%. Like, I'm like, what the hell? Why they got them little tires in there? And what the, did they get a flat tire? It looked like one of them little, yeah. you know, the little ones that be in the trunk. Or my, the best one is, oh, your tires are bald. Right. Yeah, you know, I ain't got no tread right. on these things. Yeah. See, and, I, and I, I don't have a problem admitting I didn't know nothing about, like, all that drag radios and all that stuff. I just knew about the car I wanted and uh, what I liked 
and that was it. And then once I got into the world, then I started understanding about the drag radios, the skinnies, the fronts, mismatching the backs, staggered, all that. I didn't know nothing about any of that before I uh, really started doing YouTubes and cars and all that stuff. So Final question. What do you like driving-wise? This or the Hellcat? Hellcat, brother. Come on, man. Keep yeah, man, what you I, 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 I could change his mind. <laughs> but I tried to brainwash him and it's not. <laughs> Propaganda ain't work, huh? It ain't work. <laughs> I, gotta, gotta no, be. I think I think they both serve different purposes and, and I respect and like both. You know, but I'm just a uh, challenger Hellcat. I just love Hellcats, so it's just like my thing. But I always have to have a Hellcat in my arsenal. That's just yeah. and that's just me. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I always have to have at least one Hellcat. So but I can drive something like this and fully respect it and love it for what it is. Like, I really like this car, you know, but would I get rid of my Hellcat to get it? No, you know, cause that's just, that's me, that's where I started. You know, like, I'm, you know what's crazy? I went back to the dealership, didn't even know who going back this way. But it's just where I started and this is, like, the Hellcat is just, it's just me, through and through. You know, raw, undiluted, pure, first of its kind. You know, I, the list goes on and on, brother, on why I like a Hellcat, you know, more than any other of the competitors, you know, but I like those cars too, and I can respect them for what they are, but Hellcat's just me all the way through and through. Don't care, it's just unapologetically them.